What do you actually mean by a term proportional integral derivative controller? Well, my name is Rishi Ramju. Welcome to the backwards engineering community where I make engineering easy for you. So, let us ask ourselves that obvious question. What do you actually mean by a term proportional integral derivative controller? Well, let's find out. So, let us consider a particular control system with a forward loop transfer function say g. Let us consider this particular control system. Let us give a particular input say r of t over here. So when we give an input r of t over here, we get an output c of t over here. Let us assume that this is a unit negative feedback control system like this. And if that's the case, then here we will have an error signal E of T. So here in this particular control system, if we actually need to control this particular control system, that is when we use a particular controller. But when we use a derivative controller, there is a problem for the steady state error. And uh, when we use an integral controller, there is a problem for the stability. So therefore what we do is that we combine these two together. That is when we obtain a particular integral derivative proportional controller. So here, over here like this, we will now put a particular proportional integral derivative controller and the output over here is say u of t. So now here, say u of t, the output of this particular controller is proportional to this particular input which is the error signal e of t. Plus, it is also proportional to the derivative of this particular e of t, which is d by dt of e of t. Plus, it is also proportional to the integral of this particular input signal e of t. So therefore, this is integral of e of t dt. So now, in order to remove this particular proportionality sign, we now multiply this with proportionality constants. So therefore now we would get u of t is equal to kp, which is the proportionality constant here, into e of t, plus another proportionality constant kd into d by dt of e of t, plus another proportionality constant say ki into integral of e of t into dt. So now in order to find the transfer function, we now take the Laplace transform of this particular equation. So now taking the Laplace transform, we would get taking Laplace transform, we would now get u of s is equal to kp into capital E of s plus kd into d by dt of e of t, that is s into e of s plus ki into integral e of t dt, that is ki into e of s divided by s. So taking e of s common outside here, we would get u of s is equal to e of s multiplied by kp plus kd into s plus ki divided by s. So now the transfer function is simply but the output divided by the input. That is the output transform u of s divided by the input e of s. So therefore taking e of s down, we would get the transfer function as u of s divided by e of s is equal to. Here if we take kp common outside, we would get kp multiplied by 1 plus kd by kp into s plus ki divided by kp divided by s. So now if kd by kp, the constant kd by kp is equal to say another constant td and now if kp by ki is given as another constant say ti, then this particular equation can be written as u of s divided by e of s is equal to kp into 1 plus, here we have kd by kp, kd by kp is td, so this is td into s plus, here kp by ki, so kp by ki is ti, so this becomes 1 by ti into s. This is the required transfer function of a particular 
proportional integral derivative controller as simple as that guys this does is simply how you design a proportional integral derivative controller as simple as that guys there's nothing more to it so i hope you guys now have clear understanding of how you can design a proportional integral derivative controller and if you guys found this video informative please do hit the like button and join this community by hitting that subscribe button we'll be discussing about the further topics in the upcoming videos so stay tuned stay subscribed until next time i'll see you guys in the next video thank you